What if the world as we know it was to end tomorrow? Would our personal relationships matter then? This is not just a hypothetical question to induce anxiety or fear, but rather it's a philosophical musing that invites us to ponder the uncertainty of our future. The concept of end times, a notion prevalent in many religions and cultures, is often viewed with trepidation. Yet, it's this very uncertainty that underscores the importance of our personal relationships. There are anchors in the face of unknown tides, the familiar amidst the unfamiliar. In the grand scheme of things, when the world's clock could strike midnight at any moment, our interpersonal connections take on a heightened significance. They become our lifelines, our sources of comfort, resilience, and strength. They define us, shape us, and ultimately, they're what we could rely on when everything else seems uncertain. With the end times as our backdrop, let's delve into the importance of personal relationships. Relationships shape our lives, but how much do they matter when faced with the end times? Now, let's delve into the realm of personal relationships. These bonds that we form, whether they be friendships, familial ties, or romantic entanglements, they are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives. Each connection we make brings something unique to the table, a flavor, a texture that shapes and enriches our existence. The psychological benefits of maintaining strong relationships are manifold. They provide us with a sense of belonging, of being understood and valued. They act as a support system, offering comfort in times of distress. The laughter shared, the tears shed, the stories exchanged, they all contribute to our emotional well-being. In the context of friendships, these are the people who have chosen to be a part of our lives. They are there to share in our joys, to lend a shoulder during our sorrows, and to offer a different perspective when we're lost. Our family, on the other hand, is our bedrock. These are the people who have been there from the beginning, who have seen us at our best and our worst, and yet they stand by us. They provide a sense of continuity and stability that is irreplaceable. And let's not forget about romantic relationships. These bonds filled with passion and intimacy bring a certain zest to life. They teach us about love, about sacrifice, and about growing together. However, it's important to remember that relationships aren't always smooth sailing. In times of crisis, such as the looming end times, these bonds can be put to the test. Stress and fear can strain even the strongest of relationships. Misunderstandings may arise, tempers may flare, and hearts may ache. But it's in these moments of hardship that the true strength of a relationship is revealed. Evidently, relationships hold immense importance, but how do they fare in the face of potential end times? Imagine a world on the brink of collapse. How do personal relationships evolve in such situations? In times of crisis, the dynamics of our personal relationships are often significantly altered. Unpredictable circumstances can lead to tensions, conflicts, and distress. Imagine being confined with your loved ones for an extended period with no escape from each other's quirks and idiosyncrasies. The pressure can mount, and even the smallest of disagreements can escalate into major conflicts. When we're under stress, we tend to react more harshly to others' flaws, and our patience may wear thin. We might find ourselves bickering over things that seem trivial in hindsight. Yet, it's important to remember that these conflicts often stem from the external crisis, not from the relationship itself. But it's not all doom and gloom. Crisis situations can also bring out the best in us, fostering resilience and mutual support. They can help us realize the importance of our relationships and appreciate the people we have in our lives. Think about the times you've faced hardships. Most likely, you didn't face them alone. You had people by your side, people who were going through the same struggles. You leaned on each other, provided emotional support, and worked together to get through it. In a crisis, we are reminded of our shared humanity. We realize that we're all in this together and that we need each other to survive. Our relationships become our lifelines, our sources of comfort and hope. We learn to value the strength of our bonds and the power of unity and cooperation. Yes, crises can strain relationships, but they can also strengthen them. They can reveal the true depth of our connections and remind us of their importance. They can make us appreciate the people in our lives and bring us closer together. 
But how can we navigate these dynamics? How can we prevent conflicts and strengthen our bonds during crisis situations? It's clear that crisis can both strain and strengthen relationships. So, how can we navigate these dynamics? Navigating personal relationships during end times can be a challenge, but not an insurmountable one. Let's dive right into some strategies for maintaining healthy relationships during crisis periods. One of the most vital principles often overlooked in times of stress is open communication. When the world around us is in turmoil, it becomes even more critical to express our thoughts and feelings with clarity. Misunderstandings can breed resentment and tension, things we certainly don't need when facing a crisis. So speak up, share your worries and hopes, and listen when others do the same. Now moving on to mutual support. In challenging times, we are all in the same boat, navigating the turbulent waters. It's not about who's the strongest or the smartest, it's about how we can lean on each other. We all have unique strengths and resources, so let's use them to help one another. Remember, a problem shared is a problem halved. Next, let's talk about empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. In times of crisis, empathy is like a soothing balm on a wound. It creates a sense of connection and unity, helping us to remember that we are not alone. So try to step into someone else's shoes, see the world from their perspective. It's not just about sympathizing, but truly empathizing, feeling with people, not just for them. These strategies, open communication, mutual support, and empathy, are not just about surviving the end times. They're about fostering resilience and well-being. They're about turning adversity into an opportunity to strengthen our relationships and nurture our collective spirit. In the end, it's not the crisis itself that defines us, but how we respond to it. And our response, in large part, hinges on the quality of our relationships. As we can see, even in the face of end times, personal relationships remain a crucial aspect of our lives. So, if the world were to end tomorrow, would our relationships matter? Absolutely. We've journeyed through the thought-provoking question of end times, delved into the intricacies of personal relationships, and explored the dynamics that come into play in crisis situations. Throughout this exploration, one thing stands out, the vital role of personal relationships. They are the pillars that hold us up when the ground beneath us shakes. They are our compass in the disorienting fog of crisis. We've also shared some strategies to navigate these relationships during crisis situations. Remember, it's not just about survival. It's about thriving. It's about understanding, empathy, and mutual support. It's about maintaining our humanity, even in the most challenging of times. In the face of uncertainty, it's our relationships that offer us comfort, support, and a sense of belonging. Even in the end times, they remain our greatest asset.